Okay, folks, we are here in San Francisco with Roman, the game director on For Honor, because we just got the chance to play as three new warriors, a whole new mode. And let's start off with the biggest, fiercest looking of them all. I mean, they all look fierce, but the Shigoki with that mask. That's the Shigoki. Oh, it's something <laughs> special, right? Yes, he's the character that has the biggest HP pool of the game. Mm -hmm. And by default, he can't be interrupted into his attack. He puts so much momentum in his strikes that you can't interrupt him. So that is strength. It's a, it's a character really about trading blows with you. Like, yeah, I know you're going to hit me. But I'm going to hit you harder, and I'm stronger than you. One of the characters that we played as today, the Warlord, saw him in action for the first time. Might be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Shigoki with that big shield and big sword. The Warlord is the big Viking. He's the Viking poster boy. He has that <laughs> big round shield, the Gladius. He has that look. And really, the basic strategy with the Warlord is that while he attacks, he uses shield to protect himself. Mm -hmm. So usually, the characters that we have, when they attack, they lose their defense. That's not the case for the Warlord. So you want to use that as your advantage. Also, since he's massive, his melee attack, like his headbutts, are really powerful. Let's talk about the Peacekeeper. She brings something new to combat, a new sort of mechanic that we're seeing this time for the first time. Yes, the Peacekeeper is one of the characters that can actually apply bleed to, uh, to his opponent. So she has two weapons, a short sword and a dagger. Every time she successfully strikes with her dagger, you're gonna bleed. And she's gonna take advantage of that because also she's really fast, she can dodge a lot, she doesn't have that many HP. So she's all about getting into your guard, making you bleed, and running away. We played these three characters today, and we played them in a new mode, elimination mode. Yes. This is basically a no respawn, kind of team duel. We wanted to build a game mode where if you're dead, you stay dead. Mm -hmm. And when your team is wiped, it's finished, it's over. So every blows matter. You can't miss one strike and be like, yeah, okay, it's good, I'm gonna respawn. And what is interesting also is that you start in a duel, but if you're not forced to duel the guy in front of you, you can run away, join with a friend, like team somebody or whatever. It's really, even if it's, it feels like dueling, there is a lot of team strategy here. Also, if a friend gets killed, you can go and revive him. If you kill somebody and didn't manage to execute, because if you execute him, it can't be revived, then you need to guard his corpse, because otherwise one of his teammates can come. But if you guard his corpse, you can't go after somebody else. And we're trying to put this strategy inside the game mode. Three new warriors and elimination mode all coming together uh, as For Honor approaches the launch next year, February 14th. Yes, all right. And thanks. Go to forhonorgamecom war to register for a chance to get into the action during the beta this January. And for more For Honor videos, subscribe to this channel and visit the Ubi blog.